Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. My name is Leaf and if you're new here, welcome. It's always a pleasure to have all new friends here once again. So we are back with the mod showcases and we have 15 animals to look at this week. And you might notice we have a bit of a big little pool over there. We're going to get to that in just a little bit. But I do want to thank you guys for sticking around. We just recently passed 2K, and I believe the Planet Zoo VR video went out yesterday. If you guys haven't checked that out, do check that out because it is absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever done. So with that being said, let's just get started with the mod showcase, and we have a lot of fish to cover today. So we're just going to jump right into it. Hopefully the ancient arowana is out at this time. We just need to actually find it because I threw it in this habitat and I'm pretty much lost with it right now. So we're going to actually click over here and it's not even over here. So we're actually just going to move it over here. It's moving there right now. Awesome. So we can actually wait for it just to get delivered. But while it does, we can check out all the other animals that we have here. Let's start over here with the zebra shark. Now the zebra shark was made by Zero's Valsmont or Zero Valsmont. I forget how you actually say it, but if you're from the Zoo Tycoon 2 community, you might remember this name. This guy has done every single shark there is. We're just gonna wait for the arowana to climb in there. So this guy, you know, you might be saying, hey, it's called a zebra shark. Why does it have like leopard splotches? Well, these guys actually have babies that have stripes on them. And when the people initially caught them, they named it the zebra shark. But when they found out that it grows up to have leopard spotted, leopard, leopard spots. Wow, I can't even talk anymore. Uh, the name kind of just stuck. And I really do love these guys. These are probably one of my favorite sharks. They're kind of related to the nurse sharks. And you might notice like they kind of do have that same face going on over there. But yeah, these guys are absolutely beautiful creatures and one of my favorites. But yeah, they're absolutely stunning creatures. So we're actually going to take it over here and we're going to go down to South America. This guy is the Arapaima. Now, this was the first actual bony fish to be added into Planet Zoo. And it was by me. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I did all the coding for pretty much all these guys. Definitely all these guys. And yeah, the Arapaima is easily one of my favorite fish. It is beautiful. It is striking. And it is huge. It's one of the top five freshwater fish. And it's really cool. And they actually breathe air, too. So it actually helps that they are based off the Cayman. And they will surface to water every so often. Excuse me. And then they will actually kind of like breathe in water. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. They, unfortunately, we can't change speed for animals. Which, um, which you know, it sucks. It really is something that, like, I really wish we could figure out. But still, these guys, you can just see them, like, surface for air right there. They are still beautiful creatures, and I love them. And we are going to go over here to the sandbar shark. Now, this guy is really cool. Now, these guys, they have these really unique fins, right? They're kind of big. For, like, sharks, at least. They look absolutely beautiful, but, um... Yeah, these guys are striking creatures as well. I just love describing people like animals like that. But yeah, they have these cute little faces. I just absolutely love them. I think this released yesterday as of recording this. Um, and yeah, I just love them so much. So there is a quick little problem with these guys. And I have been trying to workshop it recently. I've been trying to figure out how to fix it. But unfortunately, if you do hold like stuff over them, and you turn off the light, they instantly go into the void. So that is something that I do need to figure out. So if you have that happen in your game, just know little, little Leaf is trying to figure that out. And yeah, this guy is probably like the best one out there right now. This is the Black Tip Reef Shark. This one was made by Aurora Designs. Oh, by the way, Zoker made the um, original Arapaima. I'm just busy importing all of them from Zoo Tycoon. And yeah. I'm just going through like all the public domain. I've like cross references with like a lot of these creators, especially Hendrix. He has a lot of awesome ones as well. You guys might know him as the Mr. Culver Tools development. So I'm crossing with him and I'll get some of like his creations in there as well. But this one was made by Aurora Designs and it is so beautiful. Oh my God. I just want to make like a giant reef tank now in like Foxborough Zoo for all these guys because it is so beautiful how well they work in this game, especially with like the lighting and how well the skin works. Like they were meant to be in Planet Zoo. 
And yeah, last but not least, we do have the Asian Arowana. So this one was made by... Whale Bite. There we go. So these guys are absolutely beautiful. They are common in the pet trade, but they are illegal in North America because they are endangered. But yeah, these guys are amazing for zoos and like small aquariums. I can't wait to see what stuff that you guys all start making with these because they are beautiful, beautiful creatures. And yeah, this guy's a little beat up right here, but you know, let's, let's, he'll go to the vet soon enough. But yeah, I really do love how well these tiny fish actually work in here because you can see like they work, they kind of like sway back and forth, which kind of sucks, but. You know, it still works out really well, especially from far away. They look like amazing creatures, and I absolutely love having these, like, options for aquariums in the game now. I mean, I just love looking at stuff like that. So we spent about six minutes in there, so these guys are all available, so go check out the Nexus for them. But now we are going to go over to the mythical land of Gibraltar. Now, these guys are the Barbary Macaques. And I'm, like, honestly surprised as to how we don't have these guys yet. So these are the only quote-unquote European monkey. They are technically from Africa, but they have been introduced into, like, Gibraltar, so they do hang out over there. But this one was made by Giorno Pizza, and I absolutely love these guys. They are so cute. I mean, look at these. They have, like, bright red faces. I don't know. I just really, really do love these guys. So amazing job on that, Giorno Pizza. I am, like, I'm astounded. <laughs> So yeah, they all have like their full Zoopedias and stuff. It's all up to date. Uh, they actually do get into like big herds like that. So that's honestly kind of funny. But yeah, they are also found in Morocco and Algeria. I did actually live in Morocco for a little bit. So that's honestly really fun to see. Um, they like bring them into like the big Medina and Marrakesh in like, you know, you get to take your picture with them and stuff like that. So it's really cool to see them in game, especially after dealing with them in real life. So I'm not sure if I already included this one in last week because my memory is kind of poopy. But this is the Hawaiian Monk Seal and I made this one and these guys are absolutely adorable. Let's go look at this guy in the sun. Now these guys are so cute. I really do love these guys because they're not like the, um, not like the Harbor Seal. They're not like the, um, Gray Seal. They're a lot more slimmer. And they're a lot more smoother, I guess. And they have these cute little, like, pug faces, I guess, is how you could kind of describe it. They're more dog-like, I would say. But yeah, I love these guys. They're so cute. They are endangered, I believe. Are they? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, they are. So, they are from Hawaii. You can see I really went ham on the, <laughs> on the little thing over there. But, um, yeah, they're the official state mammal of Hawaii, and, you know, I just absolutely love them. And, yeah, they're perfect for all your little aquariums, so do be able to check those guys out. And now we are taking a little trip over to India. Now, this is a Nil guy, and this is by Narwhaler, of course, and these guys are beautiful creatures. I believe this is a female. And, yeah, they do have sexual dimorphism, which is something that, you know, <laughs> you must be really devoted to mods to really do. But, um, no, nah, Narwhaler did an amazing job with these guys. The female is beautiful. You can really tell, like, the amount of love that went into this one just by looking at, like, how hand-done the texturing is. But, of course, we really care about the bull. Now, this guy is often called the blue bull. It is in the bovid family, so they are related to cows and stuff like that. That is a wall, sir. But yeah, they are beautiful and striking creatures. They are huge in real life. Like, I can't even imagine the size of, like, standing right next to one. But yeah, these guys are amazing. And it's so amazing to see more Indian wildlife make their way into Planet Zoo. Just look at this shot right here. That lighting just makes it look beautiful. But yeah, amazing job on that, Narwhaler. That is breathtaking. Now we are actually going to go into the mythical land of Scotland right now. That's right, Scotland isn't real. It's mythical. But you know it is real? The Scottish Highland Cattle. Now this one is made by the wonderful Mayor G. And she did such an amazing job on these. Like, these make my cow look like poopy, alright? Look how insanely done, like, the texturing is done for, like, the head over here. Like, you can hardly imagine how these guys can see right in front of their heads, but look how 
astounding all this fuzziness is. Like, this is a level of detail. I have no idea how you can recreate. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. They're do originally domesticated in Scotland, hence why that's where the breed is from. And yeah, I'm sure they're like brought all over the world just because they are such beautiful creatures. But yeah, they have full zoopedias, yada yada. It's just amazing to have. I love these guys. Look at these horns too. Love it. All right. So moving on, we're actually going to go over here. Who wants to go to the Cayman Islands, guys? Who wants to go for a nice little stroll over there? So these are the blue Cayman Island iguana. Cayman Island blue iguanas. Yeah, that's more like it. They have like a bunch of names. But yeah, look at these guys. They are beautiful. He's just having a little treat right now. But um, yeah, let's actually move them over to the light over here. Now these guys are only found on the Grand Cayman Island. And yeah, I just love these guys. So I was like, I came back from my vacation. And I was like, you know what? I want to make a mod. So I do end up making one. It was kind of okay. It wasn't the best looking, but Phonetic stepped in. Phonetic mods, you might remember their name pop up. But they did this beautiful retexture on them, and it looks absolutely glorious now. And look at all like these beautiful splotches and stuff like that. They have a bit of a like black tail. This looks so real, and I really hope you guys start making all these reptile houses because these are the perfect additions for them. They are be beautiful, they are colorful, and they are perfect. So definitely do check them out. And now we can take a little another look back into our little aquarium over here. I guarantee you guys I will have even more fish for next week. But over here, we're going to take a little trip to the Antilles, the Antilles Islands or whatnot. So these guys have broken out of their little habitat. These are the Lesser Antillian Iguanas. And of course, they have their own like, hold on, let's find it. Lesser Antillian Iguana. So yeah, they have these and these. So this one is made by me. And, you know, I got a little lazy with it. I Just check out Frontiers if you want to read about it. You're definitely going to have that in the game because it is base game. But yeah, these guys are critically endangered and they are really cool. I just really love them. Like, I don't know why the iguanas were exhibits only. I just feel like they are the perfect addition for like zoos, especially for like tiny little areas. You can hear them hiss right now. That's cute. But yeah, we're not going to hark on them too much. We can just take like a nice little look again. But yeah, I just moved Frontier's texture over to the green iguana model for um, from Tom. And that's pretty much it. So we are actually... Did I... Yeah, Fennec. Okay, cool. Never mind. Um, we're actually going to go over here. We're going to end with that one over there. But this one is the Elephant Bird by TNT. And TNT has been absent for a little bit, but he is finally back. And he's killing it with the paleo mod. So this is the elephant bird. And I think it looks absolutely really cool. So it's probably not the best looking mod out there. But it's so awesome to have more paleo mods show up. These guys are really cool looking. I love how huge they are. Let's get an archer for scale. Let's get a frank. But yeah, they're absolutely huge creatures. So if you're working on like a paleo park, these guys are perfect for it. I mean... I just really do love the texturing over here. It Well, he is... Well, that's probably not the most comfortable way to sit, but okay. But yeah, uh, TNT, you do such an amazing... Like, a lot of people will give you shit for it, but I really do love how... I don't know. There's some quality about your mods that make it look realistic, make it look really raw, and that's what I absolutely love about them. So, yeah. Amazing job on that TNT. I look forward to more like paleo builds coming out pretty soon. So over here, we're going to end it with one of my favorite animals now. And this is the American alligator. Now this has had a long time coming. It's about time we finally get these guys in the game. Um, I'm surprised we went this long without porting it over or someone else making one. Yeah, these guys are badass with the capital S. So these guys are from Florida and like the surrounding states. And they were originally made by Nick. I coded it once I got back from Florida because I was like, help, we need a new gator in the game. And yeah, these guys are beautiful. They even have like that U-shaped snout. And yeah, they are perfect. Unfortunately, they do kind of like float a little bit above the water. 
but it's not as bad as the Nile Crocodile, so I guess that's fine. But yeah, I still love these guys. And it's so amazing to finally have these guys in Planet Zoo because I feel like that's one of these keystone species that we were lacking. But who knows, maybe in the American pack we can get something. By the way, hard read on American pack coming after Africa pack. But yeah, that was it for this week. Please let me know what one is your favorite so far. Definitely for me, it's got to be the American alligator. It is such a beautiful creature. And I really do hope you guys like him too. But yeah, I'm interested to hear like what you guys think is the best one going forward. And uh, you know, I just can't wait to see what has in store what we have in store. Well, for the next week, you know, we're we're entering a little bit of a renaissance over here. We have a bunch of fish coming out. I see a lot of people working on like eels and stuff, so that's gonna be really fun to have. But yeah, it's just amazing to see how much this community is pumping out. I think we actually yeah. recently passed like 130 mods. That is insane, guys. So amazing work on that. So yeah, I'll take off from now. So yeah, my name is Leaf. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit the bell. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit like. Be sure to even drop a comment. You know, it always helps me. And it really means a lot when you guys do that. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days.